back to the channel. Thank you for joining me. I hope you're doing well this afternoon. This is going to be the last reading of the day, and then I'm going to take off tomorrow and I think Sunday as well to give myself a little bit of time to process everything that's happened to me in the last week. The songs that came through for this reading were Help Me Hold On by Dave Finley. We've been getting that a lot in this collective over the last several weeks. And um, I Can't by Caitlin Smith featuring Old Dominion. It sounds like there's been a breakup or the end of some kind of relationship that may have been long term. And I think that you gave this person many chances or have given them many chances and maybe they're having their last chance now. I don't know for sure, but that's just the feeling that I'm kind of getting, the vibe that I'm getting from the music that came through. And if that's the case, I am sorry to hear that. Um, hopefully, you'll heal from that and you'll find somebody new that will be willing to put as much effort in as you're willing to put into the situation. Sexual arts and take off your mask. I don't know who this is for yet. We're going to find out. Selling out in sexual arts. So, sexual arts is about two people that are in love <clears throat> keeping the sex life alive throughout their entire relationship. So maybe there was something that there was a breakdown in sexual arts in your relationship and that could have made you feel like a victim somehow. Victim consciousness was there. Home is here and victim consciousness. Alright, I was just getting those shuffled because they hadn't been shuffled yet. Spirit, can you show me who this is going to be for? And help me to get a message for this particular sign or group of signs, whatever it is you have for us. Show me who this is for. I kind of thought so. I've been hoping for something for you all for a while now. Are you saying cancer? Yay, cancer, you're up finally. You've been waiting so patiently for a reading. So thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So I'm hearing cube, prayer cube. I'm also hearing dice. So let me let me see what this says. Dear God, thank you for the gift of life, of faith, and of my calling. Thank you for the opportunity to serve you and others. Dear Father, thank you for making me your beloved child now and forever. Amen. So you have <clears throat> a lot to be thankful for. You're being thankful for your life, your faith, and your calling. And the opportunity to serve others. So somehow you have a job working where you use your skill and gift, talents, abilities to serve others or you're being encouraged to. All right, why was I hearing dice? I'm not sure I even know what these dice mean. Hmm. Well, let's roll these and see what happens. I have a W. Two F's, F, F, W, P, R, R, and L. So two F's, two R's, W, P, and L. And I don't know what that might mean. Let's see if I can find out which. Let's see. This is... You might be dealing with a Virgo. You might be dealing with a Virgo. And let's see. You might also be, you might have your Venus in Virgo. Somebody's Venus could be in Virgo because this is the sign of Venus. This is, this, I mean, this is the planet Venus. This is the sign of Virgo. 
and we're dealing with cancer here. So whatever you can get, let's see what number we come up with. Number 12, two plus one is three. All right, so hopefully that meant something to you and we might do the dice again at the end or we might just skip them at the end. Okay, I'm gonna skip them at the end. All right, so hopefully that was uh, significant to your situation and I know that it had to be for somebody. It may have only been for a few people. If it wasn't significant, just you know, discard anything. These are general readings, so they may not resonate 100%. If you want a private reading, then you'll have to reach out to me to set that up. All right, Spirit. May I see how you're working in the sign of cancer right now? What virtues are you working on? Wisdom, forgiveness, and love. With courage... And patience. You can also be dealing with a Sagittarius and a Leo. <coughs> or you can have those signs in your chart as well. So Spirit is helping you to have wisdom. Practice forgiveness or somehow forgiveness. Love and patience. Cancer. Beautiful. Alright, I'm here to use the red deck to get your overall tarot. How are you working in the sign of Cancer today, Spirit? Temperance came out in reverse. You're dealing with a Sagittarius, it looks like, somehow. And then we have judgment. Judgment on the bottom of the deck, upright. Temperance in reverse. It looks like to me that you are, like, um, temperance is knowing when to say yes and no at the right times. Because, yes, it's okay to have a drink. But, no, it's not okay to drink so much that you damage your health and so yes it's okay to say yes to the dessert no it's not okay to eat it you know 10 times a day yes it's okay it's about tempering making decisions to temper our lives and there's a, a sense of lack there there's something that's untempered there could be an addiction of course there could always be an addiction when temperance is in reverse an over an overindulgence for sure or you could have just lost your patience with something because you're realizing the truth judgment is about seeing the truth of the situation there's purple flowers somehow significant and somebody has red hair that obviously will not be for everybody, but there's somebody in the collective that has red hair. It could be shoulder length, and you could have very pale skin. All right, so let's find out a little bit more about this. Let's find out how this happened to you, Cancer. <coughs> Excuse me. My throat chakra's been trying to close a lot while I'm doing the readings lately. Which it usually means that somebody might be having a hard time with hearing, like they don't want to hear the message or they're having a hard time speaking their truth. So some of you might be having a hard time hearing the, the messages because it's hard to hear sometimes. It's hard to hear the truth sometimes. And, or you might be having a hard time speaking up for yourself, saying what you need to say. All right, show me how this happened to cancer. We can't be all things. Your friends miss your face, and they're still waiting. So, it, this has the sense that your friends miss you, and they're still waiting. Maybe you have asked your friends to do some things for you, and they're, they haven't been there. I feel like your friends haven't really been there for you. But they're over here saying, we can't be all things. Like, I, I feel like you didn't have a very good friend in this person. I don't think they were a very good friend to you at all. All right, well, what's being hidden? Miss Mary's getting up. What's being hidden? The, they're still waiting, got knocked over. It's time to talk money, and it's time for shit to get real. So somebody was not a good friend, and not only that, but they took advantage of some kind of money situation in your life as well. Miss Mary, do you need to go upstairs? Yeah. Hold on. All right, sorry about that, Cancer. So, back to where we were at here. 
we can be all things. If you need help, ask for it, hire it, and make it happen. But I feel that a friend called on you for help. They could have called you by telephone or text message and said, Hey, I can't be all things right now, and I need da 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 and I haven't seen you in a while either, and I would really love to see you. Or they may have called and said, Dang, I miss your face. I would really love to see you. And also, while I'm over there, can I borrow this? <laughs> and they're still waiting. Do the stuff they asked you to do forever ago. Hmm. We can't be all things. Your friends miss your face, and they're still waiting. So really, I get the sense that this is a friend that maybe took advantage of you in the past, and now you're going to keep on waiting because you took advantage of me in the past, and that's why forgiveness might be here. Wisdom, you probably learned a lesson because secretly it's time to talk money. Grown-ass folks handle their money, and time for shit to get real. <laughs> get honest as fuck so secretly you're like until you can get honest with me about that money that you got over on me about don't call me no more and fuck your feelings too while you're at it i just cut the jacket fuck your feelings what's being shown what's being shown here spirit oh wow that's a lot of cards spirit send a picture and you're hot, smart, you have a great ass. <laughs> so this could be somebody you were seeing a romantic, uh, romantically. You could have been romantically involved with this person. <laughs> this is somebody that's a friend of yours. And they're still waiting because you, I think, maybe loaned them some money. Or you did something for them. But somehow they took advantage of you. And they're sending pictures because they think they're hot, smart, and they have a great ass. All right, what's going to happen next? It's not that serious. Laugh. <laughs> Laugh, fuckers. Don't let the bullshit make you bitter. And there's definitely some bullshit here. I think you've seen the truth about... Uh, an interest, yeah, check yourself, you're playing with fire, you're seeing the truth about a love interest, and they got over on you somehow, and you may have had sex with them, have sex, do you really need a card for this, this could have been somebody that you were romantically involved with, and you learned a very valuable lesson from this person, let's see if we can find out, because I feel like it's a breakup, either a romantic breakup, I think it might be, for some of you, a romantic breakup. And it's because somebody took something that didn't belong to them. Somebody took something that didn't belong to them. And, yeah, y'all are too different. Because you would never do that to them. That's what I'm hearing. All right, how did this happen to Cancer Spirit? May we see, please? How did this happen to Cancer? Good, strong answers only, please, from the universe, if I may see how this happened. Trust the plan and don't lose hope. So this person probably also promised you, oh, I promise you, I promise you, I'll, I'll make good on this. And you were trying not to lose hope, or they were. Somebody's name could be James. Somebody's name could be John. All right, well, what was being hidden? That somebody is fighting it when it comes to control and self-pleasure. So somebody was fighting having somebody was fighting and losing control when it came to self pleasure. Clarify self pleasure. I don't know that this is a sexual situation, but it could be somebody oh my god. There's a lot of cards here. They were fighting it and losing control when it came to self pleasure. Don't force it. It's keeping somebody up at night. It was unintentional. 
families here. Let them go. It was your choice. They will call. Somebody felt desperate, and now they feel forever changed. <laughs> That's a lot of cards. That's what's going on secretly. All right. What's, can somebody be wearing a mask? What's being shown that somebody's worried? Why are they worried? What are they worried about? Because they screwed you over. They're haunted by what they did to you. This person is not only worried, but they're haunted. They probably should be too, because that was a bad decision. And your spirit guides, the universe, <laughs> and karma are not going to be happy with that situation. And what's going to happen next is somebody thinks it's not that serious, but they better check their self. In other words, you thought it was not that serious, but you better check yourself because you were playing with fire when you messed with cancer or with this person. <laughs> All right, what's going to happen next? And there's a Sagittarius here for sure and a Libra. What's going to That's karma. Yeah, there's karma coming for this. Make them prove it. You're going to make them prove it because you have telepathy. <laughs> You already know, because you could read this person's mind. You could read this person. Telepathically, you could see right through this person. And you already know. So now you're going to make this person prove it. <laughs> wow. Interesting reading, Cancer. Let me help Miss Mary right quick. Okay, so... some For some reason, you're determined to make them prove it. Whatever make them prove it is. What do you want them to prove? I think you want them to prove that they didn't do this to you. Yeah, you want to make them prove that they're committed to you. That they're really committed to this. Or that they are indeed somebody worth keeping around in the future. <laughs> You got away and somebody shut down. They're haunted and worried. That's what's being shown. They're fighting and losing control when it comes to... I think this person lost control. Maybe not because of, like... I ple This card says, I pleasure myself to your pictures. I have secretly saved on my phone. And that might be the case because... Over here it says, send a picture. You're hot, smart, you have a great ass. So, yeah, I think that you were sending pictures to this person. Yeah, you were. You were sending pictures to this person. And you got away is in reverse. So, it's like, secretly you wanted to talk about money and you wanted shit to get real. So, you sent this person, like, pictures of yourself and they were pleasuring themselves to your pictures. Let me look at this again. We can't be all things. Your friends miss your face and they're still waiting. So somehow your friends were missing you and they were still waiting. And you were trusting the plan and trying not to lose hope. You were sending pictures of yourself to somebody and they were pleasuring themselves and fighting it, but they couldn't control themselves. And you were like, it's time to talk money and it's time for shit to get real. <laughs> and over here, they're, now they, they're worried and haunted. Why are they worried and haunted? Because of a waiting game. What are they waiting for? Here comes the distractions. Bingo! What are they waiting for? That, that's determined to come out. There's a dying love. Somebody's hard to read. Somebody's pushing buttons. There's differences. There's a love triangle and somebody's fantasizing. So over here, <clears throat> don't force it. Somebody has some late nights. Something was unintentional. There had to do with family. Letting them go. It was your choice. They will call. Somebody got desperate because they wanted them to call. And this forever changed you. You thought this person was going to call and they didn't. And I think it forever changed you. 
And then you got worried and haunted, and then you just had to wait to see how this was going to, and now this love is dying because somebody's hard to read. You've been pushing buttons, and you have differences because of a love triangle and fantasizing. So there's three people in this relationship, and somebody's going to make them prove that they're committed because of this third person. Let's get in the elimination. They're going to eliminate somebody. What's going to be the outcome of making them prove it? Somebody can't move on. Somebody can't move on. That's the outcome of making them prove it. And then clueless in reverse. Why can't they move on? Because there's, somebody's got to be eliminated and you got away came out. They wouldn't eliminate somebody, so you got away. Take it slow and reverse. You were like, I'm going to speed this little process up for you because I'm out of here. All right, we're going to pull Tarot from this deck. Why is temperance here in reverse for the sign of cancer? Because of cleaning up karma, the sun in reverse, and date in reverse. So this is about cleaning up karma when it comes to somebody going on a happy little date. <laughs> Scorpio death on the bottom of the deck. We have Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius here. Sagittarius is here twice. We have Libra over here. And we have Scorpio on the bottom of the deck. Something's about to be transformed here. Why is judgment here? <laughs> because somebody is getting recognized publicly, probably. Clarify public recognition. Wow. Wow. Oh, wow. What somebody's recognizing is that you offered them something steady, a very big offer. Like you gave them this huge diamond, <laughs> put a huge diamond on somebody's finger because they were manifesting this. And it has to do with a sexual encounter that was never, they never got this sexual encounter. It's like... Almost like somebody got teased. Because the truth was, is what they had to offer was very small. I think. Why is sexual encounter here in reverse? Yeah, somebody's got an ace of cups here. Because of the Hierophant in reverse, the Page of Swords in reverse, and the Ace of Cups. Because somebody's husband or wife was watching. They saw all of this go down. And they were like, oh no, you, you don't realize that this person don't have what you think they have. You're not sleeping with them either. And they manifested you not to get laid by this person. I, I'm just telling you what I see. Somebody's got an ace of cups here. And it could be a pregnancy. Could, <clears throat> there's a marriage. There's a marriage here. Oh, why is the ace of cups here? Whoa. Because somebody didn't want this, somebody didn't want their marriage to end, and they were trying to hold on to this. They could have gotten pregnant to try to hold on to their person, or they just might have gotten pregnant by somebody else because of cheating. Maybe that was the sexual encounter. Somebody saw all of this going down. It's like you thought you were going to get this huge offer. That you were manifesting this. And then there was a sexual encounter that was not supposed to happen. And then the offer that was given was way smaller than what you were trying to get. And now it's like this person that was married or whoever this higher level commitment is. They were spying and saw this. This new love. They saw you with this new love. And they were... I think they got mad because they didn't want it to end. They didn't want things to end with you. Because I think you ended them anyway. That's what's being recognized. Clarify the end. The Ten of Wands. This was a heavy burden for you. 
you're evaluating it now. It's like you're reevaluating this. I think they've stopped reevaluating this. Why is it in reverse? Why is thinking this through all in reverse? What a catch. Because <laughs> somebody is realizing what a catch this person is. So, why are they, re what's the outcome of reevaluating? Money focused in reverse. <laughs> you ain't got the money I thought you had. <laughs> Maybe they don't have the amount of money that you thought they had. Let's find out what is going on with the money. What is going on with the money here? It's like it's like you're not focused on the money. Maybe you you're a catch. Oh yeah, you're a catch because you're not out to get their money. Over here, somebody was trying to get their money. There's three people here, and one of them had a money focus, and they're looking at you as being a catch because you're not after their money, and you also have a gift. Yeah. Okay. I hope I'm catching all of this. Let me see if I can get a little bit more out of this. Show me a little bit more, Spirit, <coughs> about how this happened. You were trusting in divine timing. All right, what was being hidden? Somebody's self-worth and being present, abundant, and having gratitude. They had expectations. They knew their worth. And they knew that they had a lot of abundance and gratitude. All right, well, what's being shown? That's, that was what was being hidden, that they're thinking about taking a leap of faith towards an opportunity. And what, what might happen next? There's going to be a reunion. They're going to have a solid structure and foundation. And they're guarding their vulnerability because they need, they, oh, they're holding out. This person is seriously holding out for a reunion. Venus is here with an offer. Remember I said Venus, the Venus may be in Virgo, or the Venus could be in Cancer. This Ace of Pentacles and this Venus offer, this is like a twin flame offer. This is a higher level offer. There's an Ace of Cups, but this is a different kind of Ace. This is not an ace. This is this is this is somebody that's a match for you astrologically. And you are going to have a reunion that's going to bring structure. And you're guarding yourself from anybody that would not bring you what you are worth. Because you know that you're going to get the offer of love and this pinnacle. This is like two very solid offers. And there's also an apology on the bottom of the deck. So this person is going to have a reunion. They're thinking about taking a leap of faith. But when they do, they're going to be reunited with a soul tie and form a solid structure and foundation. And right now they're guarding their self against being vulnerable to other people. Because they, they, want, they know what they want and that's what they're going to get. This also came out in the Sagittarius reading, and we see we have Sagittarius here. You may be dealing with a Sagittarius. Yeah. And you're a catch because you don't have the focus on money. Like, this person probably does have money. And you're not after their money. But these uh, other hoes, I don't know, where did that come from? <laughs> uh, after their money. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Cancer. <laughs> wow. Okay. Talk to me, Spirit. Where is Cancer at here? There was some deception. There may have been deception about a pregnancy. I think somebody had a deception about pregnancy. Somebody was deceived about pregnancy. Alright. That's where you are. Somebody could have lied to you and said they were pregnant or they could have got pregnant by... I think over here we saw that they got pregnant by somebody else. Alright. Oh, Lord. Where's the person that cancer's dealing with? Working on their money and having a union because this is free will. 
All right, what's connecting cancer with this person? Cancer, somebody here is using chemicals or something to numb out. Some, you're numbing. The 5D is here in the fall. So what's connecting you is numbing the 5D in the fall. I'm not saying you're getting, you know, I'm not saying you're using drugs, but the temperance in reverse can be a sign of not tempering a situation in your life that you might be overeating, you might be overworking, you might be overspending. Your person is over here with free will. They can do whatever they want, and they're going to have union. And we see that they are going to have a reunion with a soul tie. I feel like I'm talking to a cross watcher. And this is going to bring things back into balance. Where is this other person? Because the person that they're having a reunion with, show me that person. Where are they? Where are they in all of this? They're not talking to you, but they are. <coughs> in reverse. Why is mute in reverse? It's like they're not talking to you or maybe they are watching and you don't know. Yeah, this is somebody from your tribe. This is the one that's watching over here, I think. They might not be talking to you. Wow. The complicated reading here, Cancer. Let's see what we can get out of this deck. What's going to happen in this connection next, Spirit? There's a denial here and a twin flame. So what is a denial about a twin flame? Finances in denial. Remember I said somebody was focused on money? Alright, show us what's going to happen. How did this happen? Because somebody was longing, they mastered a lesson, and it had to do with rejection. Alright, what's being hidden? Strictly sexual and chemistry. Something strictly sexual is going on here also. Remember self-pleasure, sending pictures, what's being shown? You have chemistry with somebody and strictly that there's going to be a second chance. Clarify second chance. There's a past life love. There's obstacles right now. So there's going to be a second chance for a past life love, but there's obstacles right now. What's going to happen next? There's going to be new love. And we see that you're holding out for this offer. Clarify the new love. Whoa. Spirit says play hard and set boundaries. You just need to set boundaries, but play hard with this new love. Use your intuition. Anything else they need to know, Spirit? There's a warning about waiting. Clarify the warning that you want them to wait. It has to do with children. Warning, wait, when it comes to children. Take it as it resonates. What's going to happen if they don't wait? Interference. In learning a spiritual lesson. Anything else we need to know here? Retreat. This is protected. Take care of yourself in different pages. All right. Can you give us some um, guidance? Guidance for the sign of cancer spirit. They're always on your mind no matter who you are with. Like a flower, you will blossom. You didn't imagine it and heal any issues you have with your mother cancer. And their higher self speaks to you through music, and divine feminine don't grovel. All right. Did we ask what kind of healing was needed? What kind of healing does cancer need, spirit? You're a phoenix rising, cancer. You're coming up from the ashes. You might have some sadness. You can have a little depression going on. May I have oracle cards for cancer? Oracle cards, please, for the sign of cancer. 
Spirit's giving you courage from a spirit guide. You might want to refer to Sagittarius's last reading. You have a new spirit guide. You also have a lot of talent, and you have love showing up. Anything else? Whoa, passion came out. With dreams, enlighten your load. Alright, I'm being led to do one of these for you. May I have one card, please, for the sign of cancer? Whoa. One, please, if I may. One, please, Spirit, if I may. <laughs> One, please, Spirit. That's too many. May I have one, please? Goodness, there has a lot to say to you out of these cards, Collective. Every time I use these cards, I end up getting at least three. Spirit, I'm going to put it away if I can't get it. one card, please, for the sign of cancer. Thank you. That one was determined to come out. And I'll read the bottom of the deck as well. <clears throat> that one right there was determined to come out for you. Damselfly brings direction. You may not see it coming, but a major change within you or your life is headed your way. You will be able to handle it with more skill and grace than you may have believed possible. Do what it takes to keep yourself feeling positive and happy more often than not. We all have ups and downs, but if you are not feeling happy with something in your life, know that you have the power to change it, even if a radical change would be required to bring you happiness. You've got the power to do it. Have faith. And then Amalthea number 41 says this. Your soul is learning about love, whether you fully realize it or not. You are breaking free from a pattern of relationship that has not been respectful enough of you in your heart. This includes the relationships you had with yourself, with others, whether they be friends, romantic connections, colleagues, or strangers, and even the universe. As you allow yourself to feel worthy and release feelings of hate, shame, guilt, or judgment towards yourself, a new spirit of gentleness, love, and devotion will fill your heart and transform the quality of your connections with others and the universe. A beautiful new world is, of love is opening up for you, and we see that you have something new coming. Amalthea, the ancient goddess of nurturing, asks that you have faith in your ability to love and in the power of your heart. Perhaps you doubt your heart sometimes, wondering if it's pure enough. If your love is enough, maybe you convince yourself <clears throat> that you have to do more or be more than, than the beautiful being that you already are. You must stop torturing yourself with these mean mind games. They are not good for you and they are not true. When negativity threatens to put you down, let your soul speak up from a place of feminine power and quiet inner assurance as, as you say. I affirm myself, my love, me and my heart are more than enough. Your heart is one of the special ones. It has the capacity to love in an unusually expansive way. Your heart is one that can care for the entire world. Within your heart is a healing warmth that can touch people, even complete strangers, and change lives for the better. You don't need to try and make this happen. It happens naturally when you are just being you. Amalthea, the goddess who, who soothes, reassures you of your heart's power and value now and how you love is more than enough. She reminds you to open your heart to yourself, to love yourself too. Sacred Ritual 
They'll pretend or imagine that you can smile at your heart. Feed your heart. Feel your heart smiling back at you. Feel your heart smiling to the world and your hearts of all of the living beings smiling back at you. You have a very beautiful heart, Cancer. Spirit wants you to know that that's recognized. All right. Anything with angels, how would you help with this? Passion. Awakening. Thought. Creative power. Music. And prosperity. With divine plan on the bottom of the deck. May I have a message from the Oracle, please, for, for Cancer? Instant Magic Oracle, may I have a message, please, for Cancer? Escape room. Cancer, you need to make yourself an escape room. Get comfy, close your eyes, and visualize your home. Spend some time thinking about a space and how you know it so well. So look at your house and how you know it so well when you have your eyes closed. As you are seeing all of the familiar things about this house, notice a door somewhere that you never knew was there before. Walk over to the door and open it. Beyond the door is a space that you didn't know existed. Feel the surprise that this room is there and you didn't even know it all this time. Walk around the room and inspect it. Be in awe at how beautiful the interior is. Notice that it has all these details of color schemes, furnishings, and feel the incredible energy in this place. Spend some time here and soak it up. Know that you can pop back to this room anytime you'd like. So maybe you need a place to escape to. So that you can quiet your mind and recenter yourself. Maybe you're in a lot of chaos at a lot of the time. You might possibly be. All right, let's quickly look at your money, Cancer. What's going on with Cancer's money? Spirit says you have options. All right, what, what are these options? Oh, you made some mistakes. What should Cancer do about that? You're going to have some money to make an investment, and you're not going to tell anybody. You're you're always getting this silence card about things. It's about a legacy, a workaholic, a student, and angelic help. You made an investment that nobody knows about, and it has to do with a legacy. <coughs> you're a workaholic. You have students, kids in school maybe, and you're going to have angelic help. So you made an investment silently and it's gonna leave it's left a legacy. You might have done it when you were working. What's gonna be the outcome of this? Your parenthood is here. What else? Being a helper and a mechanic. You might work in a helping profession like being a waitress or something like that. The outcome is gonna be parenthood, helper. And mechanic I think you're gonna help somebody in your family to work on something when it comes to life purpose and your spirituality that's what I see all right cancer I hope that you enjoyed the reading if you did please give it a thumbs up make sure you're subscribed to the channel and you guys have a wonderful weekend keep my family in your thoughts and send us some positive vibes as we lay my husband to rest have a wonderful weekend. Bye-bye.